Good morning, it's uh, Adil Fazal, here market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review, a review of the European markets for the trading session 29th of May 2018. It's uh, Tuesday's trading session after the uh, post bank holiday. Okay, it certainly seems like we're gripping with, uh, or certainly faced with risk off. That certainly seems the uh, predominant theme at the moment, with uh, concerns over Italy and Spain, and that's basically what the, uh, the actual market sentiment is at present. Uh, yield spiking, uncertainty increasing, everything certainly doesn't look very healthy at present. Trade signal, please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. Certainly download the app on the Google app and the Apple app store. Okay, let's see exactly where we are. I think the uh, the fundamentals really are all about Italy and Spain, so uh, I think it's pointless to talk about anything else today in terms of uh, fundamentals. Asian markets did actually... Uh, do relatively well, uh, considered the uh, obviously ongoing concerns, but Europe certainly seems to be gripped in this uh, uncertainty at, at present, which obviously is certainly negative. Uh, other than that, in terms of Europe, I mean, we've got Mr. Murr speaking in 15 minutes, so that'll be interesting. Then we've got S&P, Dallas, etc. The only other important news really is uh, the one that's bullish for US equities, given the fact that uh, China has uh, certainly proposed to cut its deficit, okay, and certainly has attempted to import more in terms of agricultural goods and commodities as well from the US, which in turn obviously alleviates and reduces the concern there, which in turn should be considered as being bullish. Okay, uh, In terms of the uh, market then, let's just see exactly in terms of FTSE MIB. As you can see, FTSE MIB certainly selling off quite substantially. We did put in a potential, we are well, certainly are looking to put in a potential bottoming tail here. So let's see exactly what happens. We certainly close the gap. Not only did we close the gap, we actually broke even lower. I was actually expecting some sort of stabilisation today. That certainly failed to occur. But uh, never again, we, we could certainly be seeing that at the moment. Okay, so keep an eye on the uh, FTSE MIB in terms of the next direction. Going over to the German DAX then. So German DAX in the daily chart, defending that key level at 12,600, so which is previous resistance equals support. We've broken out that rising contracting, uh, rising wedge, a bullish channel, shall we say. Okay. 60 minute chart as well, finding support here, previous resistance equals support. So, this is a key zone for the German DAX here with the unfilled gap above as well. Okay, so quite important uh, level here. 10 minute charts certainly are stabilizing, finding support now at this region. We've got the unfilled gap above at 12,860. So, almost a plus 200 point plunge on the German DAX today. So, that certainly is, of course, a concern. Bear that in mind. In terms of uh, the French CAC, French CAC certainly under immense pressure. Uh, ever since we hit that new high, uh, certainly rejected the market, certainly has pushed back quite uh, so significantly now again, putting a potential pivot low here at uh, 5385, and we've bounced quite substantially, okay? 60-minute chart as well, you can certainly see the bottoming tail, horizontal support holding here at this zone, uh, which held well at 5385, and the French CAC certainly has bounced so subsequently, okay? So lower lows, lower highs still remain the dominant theme. In terms of the 10 minute chart, certainly overextended again. Uh, from my perspective, I certainly expecting the uh, potential pivot low to be in for European equities now, given the German DAX has held up to uh, key level at uh, uh, 12,600. Uh, uh, and again, looking for a potential pop here. Support at 5,380. Anywhere, any sell off down, back down to 5,400 certainly will be a buying opportunity for me. And then look to potentially uh, target a gap above at 5,510. Okay. In terms of FTSE 100, this one has certainly has. Uh, fallen substantially on the weekly chart you can clearly see resistance daily chart bear flag playing out at the moment really it's a no man's zone where it actually stops and stops reverse i was expecting the 200 ma to hold that failed uh, then obviously we're going back down to 7630 at the moment so let's just see if that support holds you've got previous resistance equal support 7610 which certainly has held thus far so again looking for this level to potentially go along as well on the FTSE 100 10 minute chart certainly overextended again back down low again I'll be looking to potentially purchase around the 7610 zone once we get there. Look to go along on the uh, the FTSE 100. Uh, again, you've got the unfilled gap above at 7730. Certainly has been a fall from, from grace, hasn't it, for the FTSE 100? Quite a substantial one ever since it hit 7900. We reversed very sharply, almost 300 points. Okay, so that's basically where we stand. So from my perspective, certainly looking for a bottoming tail in European equities. I've certainly seen it. I spotted one on the 60-minute chart as well, as you can see here. Uh, and the daily chart on the euro stocks as well is coming into support around the FIB 61%. So, again, a key zone for support. Certainly looking for a potential bounce now on European equities. Okay, please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and Market. The uh, uh, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. 
certainly download the app by the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Goodbye now.